I would lead with Gabby's uh, work ethic and intensity and love of the game. I, you can just truly tell she looks like a golfer. She acts like a golfer. Um, she practices and plays like a golfer. Um, I know I got the best compliment in the world and I don't think the coach meant to as a compliment, but I had a coach literally ask me to have Gabby slow down. She's playing too fast. And generally speaking, in girls golf, we're constantly saying, please play faster, please play faster, please play faster. And that's all the coaches preach. And I looked at that coach and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, uh, Gabby's the fastest player I've ever had. Uh, Margaret Roberts was close, but Gabby just gets it and goes. That doesn't mean she's too fast too. She thinks about her shots, and but she doesn't dilly dally. She gets up to the next shot, plans it, and pulls the trigger, in which I, I, I love that. The thing that I've learned through golf that I didn't expect to learn is definitely respect. I mean, I have a high level of respect for everybody who plays the game because, I mean, it's a tough game to play. And, you know, I learned to respect not just everybody who plays golf, but everybody in general. Absolutely to both questions. Routines help keep not just me, but everyone consistent. You always want to practice like you play. Uh, Gabby's routines and procedures are correct. That's the first thing. I, it wasn't a lot of coaching for me to have to do. Dad's done a good, great job with that. All I was doing was basically managing her and giving her some confidence when she needed it. And uh, so she's doing everything mechanically correct. Her, you know, her pre-shot routine is excellent. It's important to understand the physics of golf because the more you understand how the ball reacts off the club face and through your swing path, it's easier to manipulate the shot that you want. But just as a 14 year old already knowing how to do that, she knows how to put spin on a chip shot, which took me forever to learn how to do uh, and do it correctly. Uh, I think that was one of the hardest things. Um, but she can draw a ball and she can fade a ball and she's excited about it. So yeah, I, I think the future is very bright for Gabby. I manage stress by remembering that I just need to focus. If I focus, it's you know just like practicing by myself. I mean, it doesn't matter who's watching. Yeah, so um, the, the accomplishments of this team this year were my best in 15 years for the age. Uh, we actually had an undefeated GAC season. Uh, we ended up with a 9-2 and two season. The only loss was to Howell and uh, Central. I definitely do set goals for each year. This year it was just to make varsity. And then I wanted to keep my spot, continue to grind and get better. And then when state was a possibility for me, I, that was my new goal, just to make state, and I did that. And I became the second freshman in my school's girls golf history to make it to state. My goals for 2020 and beyond are basically just to follow the yellow brick road. I mean, if it takes me to the professional ranks, then I would love to be there, but if it just leads me through college, so be it. My business career can take off from there. I messed it up. Remember that thing you always say, laugh, I guess next time. Yeah. Careful. I know. <laughs> Gold. Dang it. Some focus. Okay. <laughs> Can I get off my knee now? Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> Kneecaps! <laughs>